Volunteers. We're always looking for volunteers. Um, they can always go to our website. Our website has links to everything. So if it's Funk Out with Rock, just come into that. We need people there. We have some great programs starting up pretty soon, our Saturday programs. We've got soccer season coming up, more outdoor adventures, rock climbing stuff, all kinds of stuff. Excellent. Always use people. And if you're you know, low on funds right now, then you can go play soccer with the kids, and then you can dump your 24-hour uh, fitness thing that <laughs> yeah. charges you every month that you don't go to anyway. Exactly. I mean, you might as well get out there and play in the fresh air with kids and uh, make a difference. So that's right. That's, so you can use as many volunteers as possible. Now, yeah, now, in Monique's case, how many kids that you work with actually come back and help work with the program? Well, that's the, that's the great thing about our program is, you know, when they're in elementary school, we have programs for them, you know, sports, fitness, learning enrichment. Um, we bring them along, but the hope is that they're going to stick with the program. When they get to middle school, we start doing more challenging act activities, outdoor adventures, and start exposing them to community service. Mm -hmm. When they're in high school, they're doing more challenging things, some college chores, but more importantly, that's when they start volunteering in the younger kid programs. So um, we're hoping to create the cycle, and then by the time they're done, they're coming back. So we do have a lot either through high schoolers or people like Monique who do come back and, uh, and volunteer in our programs, which is great. Mm -hmm. And they realize how hard it really is as adults and how much they've put us through when, <laughs> <laughs> when they payback were growing up. Time. Oh, it's payback man. time. Is it? <laughs> What's the most difficult thing about working with Rock that you've found? The most difficult? Um, I think it's just... As a, like coming there as a rocker, you know, as a rock, as a participant, you're just there to have fun. It's all about you having fun. Whereas you come back as a volunteer, it's about you catering to the kids. And you get so many different personalities of those kids that, you know, it's hard to manage all of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was telling Kurt earlier, yeah. like, I don't. Was I that, was I that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and Chris like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he did say that. <laughs> well, you get these kids, and what I noticed from the video, too, and some of it that was written in the video, mm -hmm. that gunshots are part of the norm. Is yeah. that truly how that area is? Because, oh, yeah? Definitely. It, um, honestly, when I grew up there, it wasn't as bad as it is today. Like, I feel those kids have it a lot worse than I do, and um, that's why I try to stress to them, you know, go to something that's positive, that you don't have to just focus on the bad side of where you live. And uh, I think that, that that it definitely makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And they're exposed to people, and death is something that they're familiar with. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, that is wrong, mm -hmm. you know, and that shouldn't it's be really part sad. of a kid's oh, life. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Adult's life as well, no, but a kid's no, life. Exactly. So you give them an option. Is that another call? Let's take that call. call. Yeah. Hi, caller. You're on the air. Hi there. Uh, I'm calling from Visitation <laughs> Valley. Okay, welcome. I know that voice is. And uh, I'm the principal of Visitation Valley Middle School. Wow. And I work with these people that you have in your program all the time, and they do a super job <laughs> so, with our kids. So you're giving them an A? I'm giving them an A+. Plus. Oh. <laughs> and they have to tell you about their program that they have uh, after school tutoring, where they work with our kids every day, and... Uh, help them get into uh, high schools. In fact, there's three of them. They just got scholarships for to go to um, one of the uh, private high schools in San Francisco. So they get a principal honor roll certificate. These guys, they're super. So you see that they do make a difference in the children in your school. Absolutely. And uh, we, we take our hats off to them as a nonprofit coming in and working with us and working with our kids, and it's it's uh, a very positive program. Well, thank you very much for calling in. Very good. Have a good day. Excellent. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that's wonderful well, that support. Great. That was Mr. Durkee. He's the principal over at, uh, we call it Big Biz, Biz Valley Middle School. And he He's mentioned after-school programs with tutoring? Yeah, so, you know, we do the whole sports, fitness, outdoor adventure, but we realize we need to be there during the weekday as well. So we're in the schools in the daytime as well as right after school for uh, homework assistance and learning enrichment programs. That's really great. Yeah. And where now, is it just within Visitation Valley or is it out throughout the city as well? It's Right now it's just Visitation Valley. We're starting to explore other neighborhoods, um, whether it's San Francisco, Oakland, mm -hmm. or beyond. I think in the next several years we'd love to, we think we have a good, good model here. We'd love to expand it.
And do you really think that it is the sports and the working as a team that really helps a child learn how to, you know, work together with other people and it passes on into school and, and beyond? Yeah, that's one of the many mechanisms we have. Um, we really do believe strongly in sports, team-based mm -hmm. sports in a non-competitive environment. Um, more importantly, every program we have, we try to keep a very low adult-to-child ratio. We believe it's all about the relationships they're building with the adults, um, providing safe environment, providing activities for the kids, opportunities mm -hmm. they'd never have seen before. It all fits together, and that's that's the reason people like Monique are a success. <laughs> and Monique is now a junior at St. Mary's College, yes? Mm -hmm. And so do you, th do you give a lot of credit for you getting there to your participation in Rock? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. I went to, uh, well, Rock got me into Sacred Heart Cathedral um, in a, on a scholarship. And at, at Sacred Heart, it was, it was a whole different environment, a whole different learning environment. I went to public school my whole life. Mm -hmm. So just seeing that change and uh, the way education is so important and the way it's taught was, was essential. And that kind of kept with me while I went into college and really kept me focused and, you know, thinking about my future. Now, do you think a lot of kids from the neighborhood that which you come uh, are thinking about college and thinking about education as being really important? Is that uh, something that is in your community or is that something that you really have to kind of push? I sadly, I don't think it's I don't think it's uh, the idea of the people in my community to um, think about college. And I mean, with organizations like Rock, I think they're trying to change that that mindset. And any that's why I try to you know get anybody I know to go to Rock because they definitely kept me focused, kept me on track to uh, not only excel in sports but as a person, as a human being mm -hmm. in school and whatever, whatever other thing I got involved in. And now you get to go back and bring other kids in and say, I can change your life and come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Those exact was, words. Really, yeah. <laughs> really, that's it. So give me an example of someone that you've been able to help bring in that really may not have had a great life planned out for them that, you know, mm -hmm. once they joined Rock, really saw what their opportunities could be. Well, I can I can give you an example of somebody that's really close to me. It's my little brother. He uh, he mm -hmm. he's he's much younger. He's only he just turned nine. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't really exposed to rock the way I was. But um, when I brought him into rock, he loves it. That's all he talks about. He always asks me, when is, are we going to see Kurt again? When are we going mm -hmm. camping? <laughs> he always asks about it because he, he saw that the difference in what the way he was treated, the way he was acknowledged. And I mean, I think kids really, they really take to that. Yeah, they respond to being acknowledged they do. and Definitely. caught doing something right. good. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And that must make you feel really good that her brother's waiting to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We love we love her brother. Visitation Valley, um, it's it doesn't get a whole lot of attention. And so because it doesn't get a whole lot of attention, there's not as much money there, which means there's not as much programming there. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, we're one of the, there, there's a handful, but just a few of us that are really good. And so we just want to keep growing and, you know, keep bringing more programs over there. We, we really need it. And the, the, it's crazy because... Rock's like the the big organization in that in that community. You um you go up and down Visitation Valley and people know about Rock. You know, mm -hmm. it's been there for so long and it's stood through uh, all the obstacles that it's faced and people love Rock. In and Visitation do Valley. do a lot of the parents or the aunties or different people that are there in the community get involved with Rock as well? We you know, to some extent we try and mm -hmm. um it, it's it gets to be a little bit difficult sometime and we actually did a study a, a while back um where we were trying to get more community support uh, people just in the community volunteering mm -hmm. and we were having trouble you know there so there's a handful of the parents that do come and help out mm -hmm. um, so what we found is you know either because it's culturally or just people are working a lot we couldn't get as many as we'd like mm -hmm. and so that's the whole thing of why we've decided to groom our participants to do be more active in their community so that by the time they're Monique's age they're coming back and, and volunteering that's excellent. What a wonderful program to start all over the city. Yeah. You know, one neighborhood exactly. at a time. That's but right. this is a wonderful way to come out um, for the funk out at Rock. And yes, I'm pushing you in April 11th, Red Devil Lounge. Check it out on the uh, rocksf.org website. But it's a great way to get to know that community. That's right. And a lot of us live here all our lives and never really venture out into different areas of the city that we're not so familiar with. Mm -hmm. So come and see how you can help in that. Um, donate for a really fun time. Have some really great things that you can bid on in the auction mm -hmm. and get to know your communities That's of San right. Francisco. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Very good. That's great. Any parting things to say to any kids, Monique, that you might have to say to get them to <laughs> come on board? Rock is amazing. Come out. <laughs> <laughs>
That's very good. How about you, Kurt? Anything you to You know, encourage? just get involved. Just check us out. I want people, as many people know about us as possible. Very good.